Okay, so you're first going to take your circle. You can make it whatever size you want. Then you're going to copy that circle exactly and just set it off to the side because that could be your backer. I'm going to make these engraved just so you can see them a little bit better. That's the only reason. Um, okay, so now that we have that, you can actually lock that but move this one to the front. And then now we are going to make and copy this circle basically and just make it smaller. So after you center this, and you can do it whatever way you want, um, you can see the outer rim is how thick it's going to be. So you can go ahead and measure that with a little rectangle or whatever, and then you'll just hit subtract up in here in the combine menu. So that is our outer rim where we're going to build everything to. So I mentioned that the names could be done with two rectangles. So oops, just copy the rectangle and then unlock it and make one smaller so that you could um, basically just, you know, keep it inside of that circle at the bottom, but keep the thickness the same. And this, you know, you can do whatever height you want here, like that's dependent upon your name and your font and everything. But those two, I'm just going to make them again, uh, engrave so you can see how it would come together. You don't have to combine any of this together until you're all done so that you can keep moving all of your elements around. So I'm just gonna choose one of the fonts here that's pretty basic. The idea with the font is that every letter is gonna touch either the, an, another letter or the two bars that are your rectangle. And that way you can make sure that whatever um, you cut will all be one piece. So here I'm just unlocking this and then you can zoom in and just figure it out um, as you're making it, just so each of those letters is actually individually read but you don't have to cut and place in each of them individually if you don't want to. All right, so I would go with that, that's fine. And then again, you can do script or whatever you want. You do not have to um, combine it with anything yet. So I'm just gonna come in here, you can choose whatever you want. I just, for the sake of ease, I'm gonna take a couple of these SVGs that are in here that are just tropical related, that's all. You don't have to use these. But whatever you use, we have to make sure that it's all connected. And what I mean by that is um, we can connect it to something else as an anchor. All right, so when I was talking before about um, the vector tool, you don't have to do this. You can make waves, you can do anything you want, but just to make it easy to use is when you hit the vector tool, just tick like every time you wanna make a point of curve or anything like that, just hit the mouse key. And then once you have all that, you can select, oops, hit V and select all of these in the center and then round them off. And you can play with the shape of this, whatever you wanna do. Like mine's not gonna be perfect, but I thought about it, you could make waves instead of just one line like this, that'd be pretty cool. Now, because it's not very thick, we're gonna add the offset. So again, I try to match all of the inner thickness pieces, but you make it whatever you wanna look like. Once you have it, hit um, confirm. And then once that's done, we're actually gonna go to the layers menu down here and you're gonna get your original vector and hit delete because we only need this outer one and then when I change that to engrave, you'll see it, um, there you go. It kind of you know, looks like whatever the princess one was. And then here is the easiest thing ever, just bring all these in and just make sure that they're all touching and that they're all anchored to something so that you don't have anything individually cutting. And then the, I'm just gonna pop these through and size them. So again, we don't want the real stem of the focus, but we want to have it there so it anchors everything. And then again, with this little flower, you don't have to use all this stuff, but just an easy, quick little design. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this portion up. I'm just adding the leaves down here. I cut off the bottom just so it wouldn't be hanging out and then duplicated the little flower. Whatever you want here, it doesn't matter. So that is basically it. And then over here, we're going to go grab a design. So I just Googled Moana Silhouette and whichever one I like, I'm just gonna take a screen capture of that and then we can just take that and drag and drop it in here. Now, this is an image file, so we're gonna have to do two things. The first is remove that background and we go to edit to do that. 
keep on the magic wand and take all these little white spaces out and hit save. Now that is still an image you can see in the objects panel. So you're going to want to trace it. So let the system do its little thing on auto trace and it will give you a blue outline all the way around. Then you can hit save. And then that is ready to use after we remove the image. So you'll get this little outline, but don't worry, we, that is totally usable. I'm just gonna flip it over here and then size it. If I can grab this corner. And then we can put that in right as an element for our design. And again, you can, um, oops, you can actually just use whatever, keep grabbing that you can lock that but let me just see if I can get this there we go so you can use whatever elements you want you don't have to use the palm tree you can use hey hey or whatever but um, you just want to again position all of the items so that they're touching each other so that this whole piece is anchored and all of these are individual right now but in order to cut it you would highlight everything and then up here you go to um, combine so you're making a compound vector and then you can just cut the front piece and then also unlock the back piece over here oops and then change that to cut and you can that's your background if you want it so if you have any questions leave them down below i hope that helped